will say my PhD advisor, Professor Marissa Koslowski. I did my undergraduate in uh, mechanical engineering, and then like um, I got admitted to her program, and she is on more on the material science. And also, I was inspired by her that she wanted to be a, a female um, role model for more girls. Um, I guess it came from probably from my first um, project investigator. Well, actually, it was supervisor. Um, and um, he's a pretty de dedicated person. Uh, he did a lot of work in material science and uh, did a lot of success. And I always was fascinated about his results, which he did. And probably it was like the first thing which pushed me to, to, to do science in that area, like, like a material scientist. So I'd say my first inspiration started um, as an undergrad. So we had a course called Frontiers of Chemical Research where we were able to sit in and hear lectures um, as freshmen from all of the faculty in my department. And I was really interested in the ones particularly involved in materials research. Um, and then I joined a research lab and so I would also credit my undergrad research advising to what inspired me to pursue my graduate um, research in materials. Uh, more generally into physics, so and that was my high school instructor, Mr. Rajan. Uh, the way he approached physics was, I, I had never seen anyone else uh, approach it in the same fashion. Very, it was all about asking questions. Uh, uh, for example, how did people figure out that materials are made up of atoms? And why did certain materials like respond to an electric field unless the others didn't? So. He taught me how to ask questions and that basically motivated me to look into physics and I, in physics I was always interested in understanding materials for some reason. I, I, I try to fix things in my home and my garage and that excited me to understand how do people make these materials and, and that got me going. Yeah.